Ross, a 1 0 defeat to Peterborough Sports today. Where was that game last? It's a tough one to swallow. I think commitment, attitude, application, first class. They've created very few chances. I mean, the Jones, the lads, done brilliant to get on the end of it. You know, it's a, it's a shot that's going miles wide. Um, he just gets his head on and, and finishes, and there's not been a lot in the game. I'm not saying we deserve to win the game, but I didn't think we deserved to lose the game. Um, but we seem to be putting you know, plasters on people at the moment. You know, Chris comes off, you know, with an hamstring that he's sort of been carrying a little bit. And Jimmy's just coming back from injury. Um, you know, we're having to bring loans in. It's a difficult, difficult period at the moment. I can't fault the lads for uh, for the application and attitude. Is it disappointing that it does seem to be the same story every game? First half, we're kind of creating chances. You know, with the better side, and then we seem to not manage to get that goal. And then lose it in the second half. Yeah, it does a bit, and, and I do. I do feel like we run out of gas at times because we, had, you know, Jimmy's just stepped off the treatment table. No, hardly any training. Done a couple of sessions this week. Um, you know, you're putting people out there that probably shouldn't be out there. Uh, got suspensions on on top of that as well. Not, not excuses. These these are facts. Um, but I, do, I do feel today. You know, they I think they've gone up to eighth. Somebody told me. It's, it's, there's nothing in this league really. It is small margins, and that was the same today. We seem to find ourselves on the, on the wrong end. So I personally have to do better. I've got to do something regarding that. There's something not quite uh, happening for us. Um, lads are giving everything. We just need that little bit more quality. I think up just up that top end of the pitch. How big a miss was Chris in that second half after he went off injured? Yeah, it's because you you put in wide players in, in in the middle of the pitch. You know. Um, which makes it more difficult, you know, round pegs in square holes. Uh, and that's how it seems to have been for the last month or so. But like I say, I'm not going to use that as excuses. It is what it is. Uh, and the lads adapted well in there. Kelton does a job anyway. He's played everywhere now for us, I think. Left back, left wing back, um, number 10, and now centre mid. So, um, you know, we won a lot of second ball in there. There was nothing in the game. It was always probably looking like it was going to be one goal. Uh, but we find ourselves on the wrong end of that. Connor and Nat both came in on loan over the last couple of days and both made their debut today. How do you think they settled in? I thought it was brilliant, to be fair, because what's happened, uh, we didn't get a chance to, to do the deals. Uh, it's only good training on Thursday. You know, It's been a difficult week this, this week for lots of reasons. Um, so we didn't manage to get the, those deals through. We got them through. They've literally met the lads on the coach today and, and, and both turned out. You know, I thought Connor was excellent alongside Andy. I said to him, It'll be great for you to play alongside Andy Butler. You know, he'll talk to you, he'll cajole you, and he did. But he, he also did really well himself. Nat come on early, uh, only 17. You know, still a second-year scholar at Scunthorpe, so he did really well against us pre-season. Caught his eye. Steve knows him really well, um, and, and again, he's got things to learn. Of course, he has, but he's got pace, and I thought both acquitted themselves really well. And you know, we've lost two coming in, and we'll get, be getting a couple back from suspension on Tuesday. So is it, it looking a bit better in, in that regard that you will have some more yeah. options now? Yeah, we, we've got to keep going. You know, you want to feel sorry for yourselves at times, and, and sometimes rightly so because it has been the same sort of similar scenarios. Um, you know, play well and, and get beat. Um, you know, I'd love to speak to you today and say, "Well, we got away one there. We, we didn't play that well today, but we, we've nicked a one 0 win away from home." That's not happening too many times, so yeah, that has to be addressed somehow. You know, not, I'm not quite sure what we're not doing right at the moment, but we, we're certainly getting on the wrong end of the scorelines, and we, 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 we're struggling a little bit to find consistency, which is understandable with the injuries and suspensions we've got. Tuesday it's, doesn't get any easier with Kingsley coming. We've got a couple of home games coming up. Is it just about obviously Tuesday? Does it feel a bit more like a free against a team like that, and then? Leamington's a, a big game on Saturday. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a crazy league. I've said that before, and you know your full-time teams, you, you know your, your big budgets, small budgets. It's a mixed bag, and you know we, we are what we are. Uh, we've just got to keep fighting and scrapping. I think the lads showed that today. I don't think anybody could question it. You know, thank, thank again, thanks again to the supporters. You know they've turned out in the, in the numbers. I know that you know Stubbs he brings that mini bus and uh, they get behind the, the, the team really well. So a massive thank you to them, to them as well. Thank <laughs> you.